Hey guys, what is up? Today I am in my sort of OG location. If you've been watching my channel since May when I started it, uh, I started filming here um, in front of my bookshelf and then I moved to um, a little bit farther away, kind of like on my dresser where I was sitting on a bench and um, you can kind of like see down at an angle a little bit, but I am sitting here today because I am going to tell you about all the books that I read in 2015 and what I ended up giving them as a final rating. Some of my ratings for books that I read in 2015 changed after I made my wrap-up videos where I rated them. So I'm just going to kind of wrap up all the books that I read in 2015 for you guys and tell you what their final ratings were, which is why I'm sitting here so I can easily grab and all that stuff. Hopefully I can go through this pretty quickly. I'm not going to review any of these books. I'm just going to tell you what they were, what my final ratings for them were, and if they changed from my original rating. I know this is a little late to be doing because it's now almost the end of January, but it just took me a little while to kind of get around to doing this. I had pink eye <laughs> in kind of like the middle of the month, actually the same week as my birthday, so I couldn't really film any videos then because I was kind of blah. I've been just really busy. I started back at my retail job, so I've been busy with that and then spending time with my friends and this new guy that I'm seeing, so <sighs> just a lot of stuff. I'm sorry that this video has taken so long, but my regular book videos should be resuming soon. I still haven't read anything, unfortunately. The reading slump is too real, but I am really trying, so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and, uh... I always really like to watch these that kind of wrap up what everybody's read in the year. I read, I think, 69 or 68 or 67. I think I read 67 books this year, so I guess we'll find out in this video when I go through them all. So, I'm just going to start with January. In January, I did not read any books, but in February, I read Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare, which I gave five stars, and Passion by Lauren Kate, which I rated three stars, which is a little generous. Then in March, I read five books, and the first one was Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas, which I rated four stars. I read The Fiery Heart by Rochelle Mead, which I rated five amazing stars. I read The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan, which I rated 3 out of 5 stars. Then I read The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, which I rated 5 stars. And I read Prodigy by Marie Lu, which I also rated 5 stars. This video is going to be all over the place, so I'm probably moving from side to side so bad. In April, I read three books, which were all by J.R. Ward. The first was Dark Lover, which is the first book in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series, which I gave five stars. Then I read Lover Eternal by J.R. Ward, which is the second book in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series, which I also rated five stars, of course. <laughs> and then I read the third book in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series, Lover Awakened, and I gave this five amazing stars. Really, I should have given it like a thousand stars because this book is just so fantastic. It's my favorite in the series, and this month pretty much started my obsession for Black Dagger Brotherhood and adult paranormal literature, so yeah. Then in May started kind of my really intense book reading months because I read 10 books, technically kind of 9, but one of them counted as a book on Goodreads. I read 9 books, but then I also read a little PDF file that I'll explain. But anyway, so uh, this month I read Lover Revealed, which is the fourth book in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series by J.R. Ward, and I gave this book five stars. And I read Lover Unbound, also by J.R. Ward, which is the fifth book in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. Again, five stars. Then I read Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, which I gave three stars, I think was my final rating for that. Yes three stars was my final rating. And then I read Silver Shadows by Rochelle Mead, which I gave, obviously, five stars. Then I read Losing It by Cora Carmack, which is the first book in her Losing It companion trilogy, and I gave this book five out of five stars. This was my first experience with new adult literature this year, and it started a crazy lady in me, if you've been following my channel for a while. So then I read The Eternity Cure by Julie Kagawa, which of course I gave five out of five stars. And then I read Zeke's Letter to Allie, which goes sort of at the end of this book. It's just a little PDF that you can find on the Goodreads page, which I gave five out of five stars. And then I read The Forever Song by Julie Kagawa, which I gave five out of five stars. Should be no surprise, this was on my um, favorite book so far of the year. That list has obviously not changed because I haven't read any books after that that I want to replace in that list. So if you want to check that video out, I will link it up here or over here. I don't actually know which side it goes on, but um, I will link that video. I also talked about these in a wrap-up for 
this month. This was the first video I think that I made was my May wrap up. So um, yeah, this is the first experience that I had with uh, stuff like that. And I think I rated most of these books this month five stars. So uh, I don't know how reliable uh, people thought that I was when they first started watching my channel, but I will link those videos below if you're interested in watching them. Then I read City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare, which I rated five stars. And then I read Faking It by Cora Carmack, which is the second book in the Losing It Companion trilogy, and I rated this book five out of five stars. In June, I read 11 books, and one of the books that I read was a collection of novellas, so I rated all of the novellas separately, and then the book as a whole, so I will explain that when I get to it. The first book that I read in June was Lover Enshrined by J.R. Ward, which is the sixth book in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series, and I rated this book, no surprise, five out of five stars. And then I read the novella from the Black Dagger Brotherhood series, which is labeled 6.5 on Goodreads, and it is called Father Mine, and it's found in the Black Dagger Brotherhood official insider guide or whatever. Um, that, as I said, that is called Father Mine, and I rated that one 5 out of 5 stars. It was so good. It follows the characters from the third book, in case you're wondering. Then I read Finding It by Cora Carmack, which is the final book in her Losing It Companion trilogy, and I rated this book 5 out of 5 stars. It is my favorite in the trilogy. Then I read Fallen Too Far by Abby Glines. I had originally rated this 4.5 out of 5 stars, but I changed my rating to 4 out of 5 stars. Then I read the first novella in The Assassin's Blade, which is called The Assassin and the Pirate Lord. This I rated 3.5 out of 5 stars. Then I read the second novella in this collection of novellas, which is The Assassin and the Healer, which I rated 3 out of 5 stars. Then I read Keeping Her, which is the first novella in Cora Carmack's Losing It companion trilogy, and I rated that 4.5 out of 5 stars. Then I read Rapture by Lauren Kate, which is the final book in the Fallen series, and I rated that 3 out of 5 stars, which is also a very generous rating. Then I read Inking Him by Cora Carmack, which is another novella from her Losing It companion series, and I rated that 4 out of 5 stars. Then I read Never Too Far by Abby Glines, which is the second book in her Too Far series and the larger collection Rosemary Beach uh, series. And originally I had rated this book 4.5 out of 5 stars, but I lowered it to 4 out of 5 stars. Then I read The Gathering by Kelly Armstrong, which is the first book in her Gathering Darkness, I believe it's called, series. And I rated that 3.5, 3.75 stars. I couldn't decide in the end. <laughs> then I read the third novella in The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Maas, which is The Assassin and the Desert, and I rated this 3.5 out of 5 stars. After that, I read the fourth one in this collection of novellas, which is The Assassin and the Underworld, which I rated 4 to 5 stars. Then I read Seeking Her by Cora Carmack, which is the next novella in her Losing It Companion series, which I rated 4 out of 5 stars. Then I read the last novella in The Assassin's Blade, which is The Assassin and the Empire, which I rated 4 out of 5 stars. And then all in all, I rated The Assassin's Blade 4.5 out of 5 stars as, as, a, as a whole because I don't, I'm weird about rating novellas. It makes sense to me, so whatever. Honestly, I liked this better than Throne of Glass. So that concludes everything that I read in June. Now let's get into July. In July, I read nine books, and the first one I read was Between the Lines by Jodi Picoult and Samantha Van Leer, and I rated that four and a half out of five stars. Then I read Talent by Julie Kagawa, which I rated four out of five stars. Then came Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, my first ever Colleen Hoover book and my favorite book of the year, which I rated all the stars in the world, in the galaxy and the universe, just all the stars. Then I read Twisted Perfection by Abby Glines, which I originally gave four stars, but I lowered my rating to three and a half out of five stars. Then I read Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare, which I rated five stars. After that, I read Forever Too Far by Abby Glines, which I originally gave 4 stars, but I changed my rating to 3.75 stars. Then I read Half Blood by Jennifer L. Armentrout, which actually surprised me, and I ended up rating 4 out of 5 stars. Then I read Rush Too Far by Abby Glines, which I originally gave 4 stars, but then lowered my rating to 3.75 stars. Last in the month of July, I read Simple Perfection by Abby Glines, which I ended up rating 4.5 out of 5 stars. In August, I read a whopping 13 books. That is the most that I read in one month during the entire year. So the first book that I read in August was Off the Page by Jodi Picoult and Samantha Van Leer, which I rated 4 out of 5 stars. Then I read Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire, which I rated 5 out of 5 stars. 
stars. I do have a review for this book on my channel. I'll link any reviews for any of these books that I have in the description below as well as up here whenever they pop up. Then I read Tall, Tatted, and Tempting by Tammy Faulkner, which I rated 5 out of 5 stars. And after that, I read Smart, Sexy, and Secretive, also by Tammy Faulkner, which I also rated 5 out of 5 stars. Those are the first two books in the Reed Brothers series by Tammy Faulkner. Then I read Easy by Tamara Weber, I think that's how you say her name, and I ended up rating this book 4.5 out of 5 stars. Although now that I'm literally sitting here thinking about it, I probably would rate this more 4 stars, but... It's too late for that now. <laughs> then I read If You Stay by Courtney Cole, which I rated 4.5 out of 5 stars. I was very surprised by that book. <laughs> then I read Sweet Thing by Renee Carlino, which I gave 5 out of 5 stars. I also have a review for this on my channel. After Sweet Thing, I read If You Leave by Courtney Cole, which I rated 4.75 out of 5 stars. I was super surprised with this book. I loved this one. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably would rate this 5 stars. Again, too late now. <laughs> Then I read The Hookup by Kristen Callahan, which I rated five very frustrating stars. Then I read Sweet Little Thing by Renee Carlino, which is the novella that comes after Sweet Thing, told from a different character's point of view, and I rated this five out of five stars, of course. Then I read Breathe by Abby Glines, which is the first book in her Seabreeze series, and I rated that 3.75 out of 5 stars. Then I read Just Jelly Beans and Jealousy by Tammy Faulkner, which is the first novella in her Reed Brothers series, and I gave that book 4.5 out of 5 stars. Then I read All Lined Up by Cora Carmack, which is the first book in her Rusk University series, and I rated this 4.75 out of 5 stars. Then in September, I was able to finish 7 books. First, I read The Friend Zone by Kristen Callahan, which I also rated 5 out of 5 stars. The Hookup from last month was the first book in her game plan series, and then The Friend Zone is the second book in her game plan series. Then I read Alex by Sawyer Bennett, which I rated 4.75 out of 5 stars. Then I read Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare, which I rated 5 just emotional and amazing stars. I have a review of this on my channel. Not really a review. I have a spoiler discussion of this on my channel. I love this book, guys. This just gave me the most emotion ever in the entire year. Then I read Calmly, Carefully, and Completely, which is the third book in Tammy Faulkner's Read Brothers series, which I gave, of course, five out of five stars. Then I read Pure by Jennifer L. Armentrout, which is the second book in her Covenant series, I believe it's called, and I gave this book 4.5 stars. Then I read Deity by Jennifer L. Armentrout, which is the third book, and I rated this five out of five stars. And then I read Elixir by Jennifer L. Armentrout, which is the novella that comes after the third book in the Covenant series, and I rated this 5 out of 5 stars. In October, I unfortunately did not read any books. I was just too busy with other things and too excited about my love life, so uh, skipping to November, I read two books, and the first one is Apollyon by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This took me a little while to read, but I finally did finish it this month, and I originally had rated it 4.5 out of 5 stars, but I changed it to 4 out of 5 stars. And then I read Rule by Jay Crownover, which I rated 4.25 out of 5 stars, which is, I think, the only book that I rated at 0.25 the whole year. And then in December, I did not read any books either. So that is everything that I read for this year. I hope this video is not too long. So far, it's been super long filming it, but I think that's because I've been taking books out and putting them back. I'm sorry if I moved around the entire video because I was moving around taking books out. That's probably going to be annoying, but I apologize for that. That is every single book that I read in the year of 2015. Hopefully, I can increase my number of books that I read this year to 70 or 75. 75 was my final goal at the end of last year, which I didn't end up making, but I did make my goal several times because I kept changing it because I kept making it. So 67 books, if, if I'm correct, I think is a lot for me to read in one year. I'm super proud of it. I tell people that all the time and they're like, okay, Katie, I'm not going to make any promises because I haven't been able to read anything yet this year and it's almost the end of January, but I didn't start reading anything until February of last year. I didn't read anything in January and I still did great for the year. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of time to kind of regroup and try reading some different genres that maybe used to appeal to me but weren't really appealing to me as much at the end of the year last year and figure out what I'm really interested in reading right now. I may use my go-to um, to get out of a reading slump and start back off with Black Tiger Brotherhood. Um, that might be a really good way to start off the year. That might be the way to go for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what books you read this year, what your favorite books of the year were, things like that, and let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see for my channel in the upcoming weeks and months. So 
I'm sorry I've been gone. I know some of you are probably annoyed about that, but I really do apologize. Hopefully I can keep back up with my regular posting schedule now that I've kind of regrouped a little bit. Um, I started back up on my beauty channel, so hopefully I can keep everything all organized and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you all very soon with another one, and I hope you are having a great snow day, snow weekend, if it's snowing where you live. So enjoy all that. I hate snow, but if you like it, please enjoy it, and I will see you all very soon with another video. Bye, everyone.